Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back or if it's your first time to our channel then welcome. If you're into delicious and nutritious plant-based and veganized treats then hit that subscribe button, you're gonna love it here and make sure you've got that bell click to turn your notifications on. That being said, it is the month of February and that means love is in the air. <laughs> so what comes to mind when you think of Valentine's Day? For me, it's definitely chocolate. Today we've got a delicious sweet treat for you guys. We're gonna make two ingredient peanut butter cups. Not just any peanut butter cups, they are dairy free, are sure to please the palate of any lover, but they're also great for a little self love as well. So the two ingredients, as you may have guessed, are actually in the title. They are both dark chocolate and peanut butter. Alternatively, you can also use almond butter, but we're going classic with this one. You will also be needing large and or small paper cups. I found these on Amazon, they will be linked below. So measurements and amounts are going to vary based on the size of your cups and based on your hunger level. So I've just gone ahead and measured out about a cup worth of my dark chocolate and probably about a half quarter cup of peanut butter. First step is gonna to be to pop your peanut butter into the freezer, no longer than 10 minutes, just a little bit to harden it up and make it easier to work with. And simultaneously, we're gonna go the opposite direction with the chocolate, we're gonna melt it on the stove top. So while our chocolate is nice and melted down, we're going to drizzle about a half to one tablespoon in the bottom of each paper cup. So now we're gonna pop our chocolate into the freezer for just about 10 minutes to let it solidify. So now that our bottom layer of chocolate is solidified and our peanut butter is firmed up, we're gonna go ahead and place a small dollop inside each cup. We're gonna pop these back into the freezer just to make sure that peanut butter stays nice and firmed up. And also make sure that you saved enough chocolate to place on top. Now we're gonna add the rest of our melted chocolate to the top and again, place them back in the freezer for our final and finished product. Feel free to get artisanal and creative with the toppings. You could top them with hemp seeds, cacao nibs, or our favorite sea salt. You could also do coconut flakes, but we're gonna do just some crushed sea salt. So our vegan chocolate peanut butter cups are complete. My mouth is watering. It's time to serve these up and share them with your honey. When mom says treats, everybody wakes up and comes running. <laughs> if you guys liked this video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. Like I said, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you join us for more fun here with the Eat, Move, Rest fam. Make sure you've got that bell checked to turn notifications on. And as always, especially for the month of February, leave us some love in the comments below. Share this with family and friends and be sure to follow Dusty and I daily across social media at DB Stanzik and at Aaron Stanzik. Until next time, happy Valentine's Day, love you lots. See you guys soon.